I'm an addict for Snickers. What's good, what's good? Back up in the building, it's your boy DJ Delsh. You're now tuned to youtube.com forward slash the sneaker addict. As you can see in my hand, I got a pair of Patrick Ewings. These are not that bad pair that I had. I got rid of those, I gave those away. I did not want those shoes. And I actually, though, went to buy another pair because I really needed these in my arsenal. I gave up on those red suede's and I seen a few pairs of the blue suede's and they looked way better than the red suede's. Some of you have no clue what I'm talking about. Just to fill you in, I bought the red suede's about a month or so ago. They were the worst quality shoes I've ever seen in my life. In my life. I contacted Ewing Brand and I contacted where I got them from. Ewing Brand was like, we'll send you a new fresh pair. The company I ordered them from was like the pair is going to be flawless. They sent me the pair after I returned that pair. The shoe was worse than the first pair. I felt absolutely disrespected by Ewing Brand because I contacted Ewing Brand Direct and I felt so disrespected from Ewing Brand because when I contacted them they said that they were going to send me a fresh pair. It was going to be perfect, flawless. They knew that I was going to be reviewing it. It was all good. And um, they sent me a pair worse than the first pair, kind of being rude about the whole thing. All right, we're going to send him a shittier pair. Like, why would you send someone a pair that was worse quality than the first pair after you know your customer was upset? You would think you would look at the shoe before you sent it out. And then the pair that was sent out had, like, stuffing, the stuffing and the guts from the tongue popping out of the shoe. If you want to see that video, I'll put a box right there, bomb, because I still feel some sort of way toward you and Brand. Um, they really treated me as a customer like crap. And um, I really just wanted this shoe just because I'm a fan of, you know, Patrick Ewing from back in the days. Like, I grew up in that era. And um, regardless, man, the staff at Ewing Brand may be some way, but you know what I mean? I'm still a fan of this shoe, and I still need to get my fresh pair. So I attempted to get this shoe again. I checked them out before I did this video because I wasn't even going to do this video. I was just going to return them if they were going to look like crap. If you don't like the way a sneaker quality is, instead of just complaining about it, get rid of the shoe. Just return the shoe. You know what I mean? Everyone complains about the quality of a shoe and then they get the shoe and they just keep it. Like, don't keep the shoe. If the quality is bad, return the shoe. We, as people that love shoes, need to not pick up the shoe. If the quality's whack, don't buy the shoe. You know what I mean? But I wanted to give this shoe another chance because I need this shoe in my life. And I'm glad I did because I'm actually very happy with the quality of this shoe. So let's get into a review. Get into the review. Box heads, here you go with the box. You see Ewing slamming it in. Bong. <laughs> you see you got the paper there. Here's the tag that was on the shoe. There's the keychain, 33, and his signature. And then the most important part, let me put this back. This place is a mess. I got boats, <laughs> shoes, more shoes. This place is a, is a disaster. I gotta clean up. Papa Dell's is coming to my house, so I gotta get the house ready. Gotta move these shoes. He's gonna be staying in this room right here. Because it's right here where I shoot these videos. is a guest room in one of my houses. So I got to get ready for Papa Dells. I should have some new episodes of Papa Dells too for all the Papa Dells fans. So be on the lookout for that. But get into the review. So yeah, so let's get into the review of the shoe. Right off the bat, you've got this blue suede. Very nice quality. They definitely stepped the quality up versus the red pair that I had. The red pair sucked. It was so bad. On the red pair, the midsole had like touch-up paint all over it, and I just couldn't believe it. On both pairs they sent me, but on this pair, man, it's it's dope, man. Whole upper is that suede. It's a very nice suede. Stitching is very nice. Patrick Ewing signature right there, bong. You got hits of orange, a nice bright orange. It's not a bright ass orange, but it's a bright orange. Uh, the cut over here is the only thing that's not good on the shoe. This cut here. As you can see, that cut right there. But, I mean, I'm not even complaining about that. Like, you know, that's just for some that are extreme with, with, you know, quality of shoes, you know. For me to say the shoe is bad quality means this shoe is horrible. Because, like, a lot of people complain about, like, Jordan brand shoes. And I really don't even complain about Jordan brand shoes. I'm not tripping about Jordan brand shoes. And that's just me. But over here is definitely 
the only part of the shoe that out is that cut right there because it's very sloppy you got the tongue right there looks great loving it you got the inside of the shoe which is really cozy you got this like back seat to your foot right here man this big ass padding which really fills in the inside of the shoe that's why I think these things actually are more or less true to size and not running big even though they look like they would run big you would think that these things would run huge but they actually don't they run true to size I would actually go half size up I got a size 9 if I could go back in time I would get a size 9 and a half so um, just some advice right there but I think the main reason is because of this big back seat <laughs> that's what we call them that's what I'm calling this the back seat right here there's the back 33 on this strap right here and then you got Ewing stitched in on the back real nice let me show you what these look like on feet though and we'll be right back all right so here's what they look like on feet leave your comments in the box let me know what you guys think of these you and 33 highs the blue suede just giving you some different angles Hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. Make sure to check out my blog, thesneakeraddict.com, morning, noon, and night. Like clockwork, that's my online sneaker blog to let you know about release dates, upcoming shoes, unreleased shoes. You want to get your sneaker news on, go to my blog, morning, noon, and night. Like clockwork, thesneakeraddict.com. Shout out to the fans. Shout out to all the supporters out there. And you already know how we got to do it. Got to hit you with that infamous... Burp, 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 view, 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 view. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's your review on the Blue Suede 33 High Ewing Athletic Sneaker. Leave your comment in the box. Let me know what you think about these shoes right here. Hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. Make sure to check out my blog, thesneakeraddict.com. Morning, noon, and night like clockwork. Make sure to check out my top 25 sneakers of 2012 also. I will put a box right there, bong, to watch that video. Check out my blog, thesneakeraddict.com. Morning, noon, and night like clockwork. Hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. And with that, I'll be back. Relax. Relax.